feed me, bye. We are Yup and Brendan. Question 1. Water is poured into a container having the shape of an inverting cone at the rate of 3 cm cube per second. If the radius of the base of the cone is 12 cm and its height of 18 cm, find the rate of increase of the height of the water level when the height of the water level is 4 cm. First you have to redraw the diagram. We know that height of the cone is 18 cm, and the radius of the cone is 12 cm. We, let R, equals, radius of the water surface and h equals height of the water level compare r and h with 18 centimeters and 12 centimeters by solving the equation we can get r equals 2 over 3 h volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h substitute r equals 2 over 3 h into the equation and we get v equals 4 over 27 pi h cube differentiate v with respect to h and we get dv over dh equals to 4 over 9 pi h square in this question we have to find rate of increase of water level which is dh over dt from this question we know that dv over dt equals to 3 centimeters cube per second by using chains rule we can obtain dh over dt equals to dh over dv times dv over dt substitute dh over dv and dv over dt into the chains rule equation and substitute h equals to 4 to the equation and we get 27 over 64 pi cm per second which is the rate of increase of water level at h equals to 4 centimeters question 2 Figure 2 below shows, a ladder 9 meters long leaning against a wall. The bottom of the ladder is pulled, along the ground away from the wall, at a constant rate of 1 meter per second. How fast will the top of the ladder be falling, when the ladder is 3 meters away from the wall? From the question, we know that the ladder is 3 meters away from the wall, and the height of the ladder is 9 meters. We let y equals to height of the wall, and x equals to 3 centimeters. By using Pythagoras theorem, we know that 9 square, equals x square plus y square. By solving the equation, we can get y equals square root of 81 minus x square. Differentiate y with respect to x, and we get negative x over, square root of 81 minus x square. Substitute x equals to 3 to the equation, and we get negative 3 over square root of 72. We know that dy over dx, equals negative 3 over square root of 72. From the question, we know that dx over dt equals to negative 1 meter per second. And we need to find dy over dt. By using chains rule, we can obtain dy over dt, equals to dy over dx, times dx over dt. Substitute negative 3 over square root of 72 and negative 1 to the equation and we get 3 over square root of 72. By using the approximate change formula, we can obtain dt is approximately equal to dt over dy times dy. By solving the equation, we can get dt is approximately equal to 24 seconds. So according to calculation, the latter will be taken 24 seconds to fall down completely. Question 3. Find the turning points for the function below, and determine each of the turning points, is a maximum point or minimum point. First, we have to differentiate y with respect to x, and we get 12x square minus 12x minus 24. We know that, at the turning points, f prime x must be equal to 0. By solving the equation, we can get x, equals to 2, or x equal to negative 1. Differentiate y with respect to x second time, to determine the turning point is maximum, or minimum point. Substitute x equals 2 into the equation, and we get a positive number, which means it is a minimum point. And substitute x equals negative 1 into the equation, and we get a negative number, which means it is a maximum point. Substitute x equals to 2 into fx to find its y-coordinate. And substitute x equals 
to negative 1 into fx to find its y coordinate. As a conclusion, 2 negative 39 is minimum point and negative 115 is maximum point. Ting-tang, walla-walla-bing-bang Ooh-ee-ooh-ah-ah Ting-tang, walla-walla-bang-bang Ooh-ee-ooh-ah-ah